Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, proposer of the UNILETS resolution in the Millennium Declaration from 2000 by all the world's governments for an alternative time-based currency to restructure the global financial architecture. So, that's why back in 1984, I financed the Let's software. And that was Michael Linton who had a little let's go on, a little time-based currency called green dollars. And I checked with him, is it interest-free? Yes. Can it be joined? Yes. So I financed that software and I said, let's have a freeware that's going to hit the world and show people how to run their own time-based currencies. Local employment trading system. Let's. A system for trading employment locally. Well, great news. Today... This is December 14th in Time Magazine. There it is. And it says alternative currencies grow in popularity. And of course, now that they're internet-based currencies, this is going to be a good story. Sunday, December 14th, 2008. Alternative currencies grow in popularity by Judith D. Schwartz. Time Magazine. Most of us take for granted those rectangular green slips of paper we keep in our wallets are inviolable, the physical embodiment of value. But alternative forms of money have a long history and appear to be growing in popularity. It's not merely barter or primitive means of exchange like seashells or beads. Beneath the financial radar in hip U.S. towns or South African townships and shops, markets, and even banks, throughout the world, people are exchanging goods and services via thousands of currency types that look nothing like official tender. Alternative means of trade often surface during hard economic times. When money gets dried up and there are still needs to be met in society, people come up with creative ways to meet those needs, says Peter North, a senior lecturer in geography at the University of Liverpool, another of two books on the subject. One of the members of the International Journal of Community Currency Research, IJCCR, and I've done talk about his stuff for years. And uh, he refers to the scripts issued in the U.S. and Europe during the Great Depression that kept money flowing and the massive barter exchanges involving millions of people that emerged amidst runaway inflation in Argentina in 2000. People were kept from starving this way, he says. So find 10 things to do with your money. Another article. Link. Closer to home, Ithaca Hours, with a livable hourly wage as a standard, 10 American dollars, green dollars to the hour, were launched during the 1991 recession to sustain Ithaca, New York's local economy, and stem job losses, by Paul Glover, by the way. Hours, which are legal and taxable, to circulate within the community, moving from the local shop to local artisan and back, rather than leaking out to the larger monetary system, the logo on the hour reads, In Ithaca We Trust, and it's even accepted by the credit union in some payments, and of course, cities around Ithaca, if they're going to go shopping in Ithaca, they take Ithaca hours too. Alternative or complementary currencies range from quaint to robust, simple to high-tech. In western Massachusetts, one finds fine artist designed Berkshires, a big one, which are convertible to U.S. dollars. According to Susan Witt, executive director of the E.F. Schumacher Society, the nonprofit behind the currency, more than two million in Berkshires have been issued through the 12 branches of five local banks. Good for them. And in South Africa, Propriety Software keeps track of Community Exchange System, CES, talents. I, is that an hour? You know, one ambitious plan is to make Kayalishka a vast, desolate township of perhaps a million inhabitants near Cape Town, a self-sustaining community. The currencies are generally used in conjunction with conventional money, as in using local currency at the farmer's market and regular greenbacks at the supermarket. Hey, it's like using Canadian and American, you know? Come on. It doesn't try in any way to replace cash, says Christopher Hench, but it can. A Swiss national and former banker, now living in Christchurch, New Zealand, rather it offers a way for people to share and redeem value they have in the community. He says the currencies are most useful in geographical areas or social sectors where money doesn't flow sufficiently. 
Citing the example, New Zealand's Golden Bay, which is so remote that it sometimes nearly functions as its own economy. So advocates of alternative currencies say that they are a means of empowerment for those languishing on the margins of fiscal life, granting economic agency to people like the elderly, disabled, or underemployed who have little opportunity to earn money. Yeah, everybody's time is worth something, properly employed, you know. For example, in some systems, one can bank time dollars for tasks like childcare or changing motor oil. It's not whether you're employed or what financial assets you have that matter, says Les Squires, a consultant on social networking software who's been working with groups developing alternative currencies. Each person has value, which is exchangeable based on time spent or a given task. Alternative currency comes in many forms. In addition to time banking, there are local exchange trading systems, LATs, systems of mutual credit that vary by location. This model was developed by Michael Linton and financed by John Turmel in Canada, though it seems mostly to have taken off in the British Isles. An estimated 40,000 people in the UK use these for at least some transactions. See Times Top 10 Everything 2008. Hey, don't forget Australia and New Zealand, who are big there too. Similarly, the community the exchange system CES is an online money and banking system and trading marketplace that tracks credits and debits. As long as they link the time someday, they'll be able to join. While let's function as clubs that set their own guidelines, CES is administered through an online program that connects local groups to create a global network. Good for them. The CES website link points to more than 100 exchanges in 15 countries. According to Squires, the internet has made alternative forms of exchange more viable, as databases can keep account of credits. In the rarefied world of monetary theory, think tanks are abuzz with ideas about future forms of money. Yes, they're starting to look like poker chips. <laughs> One visionary about poker chips, Jean-Francois Nubel, the co-founder of AOL France, foresees millions of free currencies circulating on a net and through our cell phones. And as long as they're all worth an hour at time, that's going to work. As money follows the distribution path that media has made over the last decade, Bernard Later, my bankster Alan Young opponent, okay, a Belgian economist and author who helped develop the euro, has proposed the terra, a transnational currency backed by established commodities that would coexist with conventional notes, the monetary equivalent of Esperanto. So poor people who don't have any commodities can't play. I want time-based money so poor people with time can play. This is Bernard Leiter leading them astray. In recent years, the impetus for alternative currencies in established countries has stemmed in part from localization movements, periodically ditching the dollar or pound or the yen in favor of homegrown currency doesn't merely fortify the local economy, it also builds community. People have a stake in their neighbor's well-being because that neighbor represents both market and supply chain. Some argue that such transactions are more secure than others because knowing the person you're dealing with and his family and friends serves as a kind of social collateral. As Susan Witt is the first to say, local currencies are not easy. I know, poker chips are so hard. Paper money currencies like Berkshire's or Lowe's or Totney's Pound slip fairly seamlessly into the national economy. Their use is taxed like ordinary money. More abstract exchanges are a bit more complicated to deal with. But the tax concern is not insurmountable. If you use local currency for your main income generating activity, you must pay income tax, says Hench, who consults in complementary currencies. Likewise, if you have a business, you'll pay sales tax on any local currency. In New Zealand, that would be green dollars, a let's you bring in. But if you trade in neighborhood help, like mowing, lawn mowing, that would not be taxed. Andrew K. Rose, Bernard T. Rocca, professor of international trade at UC Berkeley's Haas School of Business, sees local currencies as limited by their unwieldiness. Well, they haven't talked about unilets so far. They've only talked about the little dinky letses, but they haven't talked about a worldwide time-traced currency. Like when I went to Europe and I paid for every night with an IOU for a night back in Canada worth five hours. So, again, these guys are thinking dinky toys. They they aren't thinking big unilet super machine. So their unwieldiness, money is primarily just a convenience for enabling exchanges between two parties. The more widely accepted, the more convenient it is, he said. 
if you need to use different currencies in different locations, the money then becomes less convenient. Well, not if they're all accepted in all locations because they all say one hour, right? So do large financial institutions have anything to fear from the use of alternative currencies? Not at all, says Rose. It's got to be so tiny. It has no effect at all. Well, you wait till you... Hey, what about Argentina where it was 80% of the money and it popped them out of depression? Yeah, yeah, tiny. I guess he isn't aware. He's an expert, that's why. So, besides, he notes, the Fed doesn't care about currency or even the number of bills circling in the economy. The Fed cares about monetary policy and it deals with that in different ways. So, Time Magazine, December 14th, 2008. Judith D. Schwartz on local time-based currencies to save the day in the U.S. and everywhere else like it saved the day in Argentina. Um, John, the banking systems engineer, Termel, saying, Unilets for the planet, and we all get rich together. <laughs>